Well, welcome back, everybody. This is the stage or phase one of our holiday campaign. Uh, in this video, we're focusing on just you know updating your contacts um, and cleansing them uh, before we actually would campaign to them. So, you know, if you remember when we started the process, especially the new members, uh, we searched our you know our history through iPhone and Android and business cards and searching the companies that we've worked for in the past, built up our LinkedIn connections, and then we exported them out. We cleanse them down to a certain level and above, and in most cases, director and above. And then we, you know, we went and found phone numbers and email addresses. So through that process, um, we sent a lot of connection notices out and not everybody connected, um, you know, with you at that time. And then of course, for the, more experienced members over the last couple of years, you've met more people and I'm sure you've connected with them over the years. So we need to make sure that we're updating, you know, fellow with those contacts, um, you know, and making sure that we're nurturing, but also growing and building this, um, you know, network throughout your years. So the way, the best way to do that is if you look on the right side of your, when you log into fellow and for some members that haven't been on fellow for a little bit, you know, hellofellow.com is where you want to go. And then you want to log in. If you forgot your password, of course, hit forget password. Um, <clears throat> just remind you too, we always have live chat down here. So feel free to ask any questions if you're having a difficulty of that. But um, we have this date created over here. So within this case of Barry, yeah, he's added some individual people, which by the way, you can add individual contacts, but you know, by create contact, you don't always have to import and whole list in. So he's added a couple here individually. But you can see when you when we get to May, now we see all these May, you know, May, 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 May 12th, May 12th, May 12th. So we can start to realize that the last time that Barry exported from LinkedIn was probably around May 12th. Now it wouldn't be right on May 12th because we have to cleanse that. So let's say hypothetically May 1st. So what I want to do now is I want to go extract my connections again from LinkedIn to get anybody that I missed or Barry missed, in the case of Barry, over the past you know, six months, six, seven months. So we're going to go to LinkedIn just to, for a reminder under pull-down menu of, of the pull-down arrow, settings and privacy. Data privacy, get a copy of your data. Uh, just a reminder, you want to hit the second button, Connections, and hit Request Archive. And then in 10, 15 minutes, I mean, it depends on the, how many connections you have, you're going to get an email again. And in that email, it's going to, and, and again, that email will come to your whatever email address you use for, for LinkedIn. So look, look out for that in your email. And then there's a link that brings you back to LinkedIn. It'll have a blue button that says download archive. When you hit the download archive, it creates a zip file. When you open the zip file up, it'll be a connections.csv file. And then I want you to open that CSV file in Excel. And all of you have gone through this. This was a very simple um, process. Um, you know, nothing has changed over the years. Pretty simple. Reminder, when you open this up, the top three rows we're going to get rid of. And then I'll open this up. So we a reminder, we have first name, last name, email address, company, title, connect on. And this is the key. The top part of this shows the last time you exported, or in this case, it would be that day that you exported. Um, so this is my connection. So last this this record would be for October 24th. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down all the way to May 1st. So here we are, and pick a date. Don't pick the exact date that was date created because probably pick a couple of weeks back just because of that grace period that you exported and when you cleanse and actually import. So you come right down to May 1st and you delete everybody before. So you're going to come right down here, scroll all the way down to the bottom here. A little too quick. And then we'll get rid of everybody. And then this is the rest of the list. 
So we're going to go through the fundamental same process we went through previously. We don't need this column anymore, so get rid of the column. Next to the email, you're going to add and insert a column next or because we're going to use this for phone numbers. First name, last name, phone number, email address, company, title. Now, when you scroll through this, first thing you want to do is delete all the people that you, you've never met in your life. Remember, the goal with fellow is only the people you've met once in your life. Now, if you are that member that we had to grow your network, then you know the key with that is just make sure, and, and I would create two tabs here, separate the people at the right level that are people you do know, import those people in, and then separate that from the audience, the people you don't know, import two separate files. And the reason, and, and you've gone through this, I'm sure in the past, is you want to separate the people that you do know from the people you don't know, because your communication is going to be unique. And especially in this case here with the holiday letter, we don't want to reach out to somebody we've never met before in our life, just wishing happy holidays, because that's obviously very strange to get that. So if we're, we're going to send them an email to the audience that we don't know, our message has to remind them that you're a first connection. So we, we have to make sure we separate those two. So probably want to import them separately so you can you know, see them uniquely in, inside of uh, fellow so you can tag them correctly. Now, one thing you didn't do before, but do now fix all, so whatever's left in here, right? So remove the people, you know, obviously all the people to a level uh, you don't, you want to remove. Fix first names here. Don't wait till they get into fellow, fix them right here. You know, we got middle initials, you know, it's you personalize people name. This is inside of LinkedIn. So if William goes by Bill, then change it. Thomas goes by Tom. So fix the first names right here. Like you see, this should be rusty. And then you, you go into to LinkedIn and we'll do one quick example here. So we'll look up Alex and we're going to bring him up in LinkedIn. And you're going to copy and paste them up in the corner. And then you're going to open his record up and then you'll hit contact info and grab his email address. Now, a reminder on this, 99% of the people have email addresses. They have personal emails in there, which is really nice because you have it for the rest of your life. If they don't have an email, send them a message. You know, hope you're having a wonderful holiday. We'd love to stay connected. You know, what's the best way to communicate with you outside of LinkedIn? Just ask for it. Reminder, again, I keep reminding you of things. Don't look at people's profiles. It takes longer. Just get the information. Um, you know, obviously when we're reminiscing, the process takes much longer. Uh, just, goal is just to get an email address. If they have a phone number in here, which 15, 20% do, then add that to your Excel file. And that was that purpose of why we, we created this separate, separate column for C is for the phone numbers. So collect this data. If there's any missing data here between company and title, uh, obviously fix it um, and then save this. Now, depending on how long you've done this, I mean, if you think about the average member has 300 connections, no one should be adding 300 people unless you're building a network of people you don't know, which of course we have a, a percentage that are building their network. But even when you go through the experience for the first time, you shouldn't be turning around adding four or 500 people all the time. The typical member, you know, is adding 20, 30, 40 people when they go through this process. So, so this shouldn't be a timely uh, affair for you. Now, once you get this file done, you're saving as a CSV with six columns. And then you're going to go back to Fellow. And you're going to come up here and hit the import button. And just a quick reminder, as we select a file in here, let's select a file that uh, is a CSV. So just a fellow sample file. And then you hit LinkedIn because that's where it originated from. If you hit import, it's going to, you have six columns. If you remember those six columns and the order of those six columns, the system grabs a sample value from each column. So in this case, make sure it maps to a field name. It maps it. So you're taking from LinkedIn from a field and, and, and mapping it to now columns in an Excel file. Now we're going back the other direction. We're mapping our columns to actually fields. So make sure here, it, it, this is a phone number. So we need to make sure that it goes to mobile phone. Email address goes to email. Okay, this is a company. It needs to go to company. So this maps it. So when you hit import, you get you know, 20, 30, 40 people that come in. And the nice thing is it's going to create a brand new date created. And that 
that's really nice because it stamps it for the future. So that right there is phase one. So if you have any questions with that process, feel free to schedule some time with us. If you're struggling, you could do live chat um, and, and if you have any questions, but you know, let us know if there's something you need some help with as you go through the process um, with this stage one. All right, when you're done with this, we're gonna go right on to stage two. Any questions, let us know.